cái này quá là ตัวเดียวนะตัวเดียวตัวเดียวตัวเดียวตัวเดียวตัวเดียวตัวเดียวตัวเดียวตัวเดียวตัวเดียวตัวเดียวตัวเดียวตัวเดียวตัวเดีย
in this city where I've been mayor now for three years, we've been through disasters. Um, we've had our fair share of um, heartbreak. But for me, to be in a place like this, to be a part of the ceremony this morning, um, to watch people honouring tradition, to see people looking inwardly about themselves and how they can bring more of that peace to the world, it's an encouragement to me. It's something that I believe more should strive for. It's something that I know I need to continue to work on myself. So um, I, I think it's probably time I booked in a retreat out here at the monastery, actually. So, <laughs> yes, I, as long as I can, as silent as possible. It'd be, it'd be a very different world for me. Um, but no, it really is an honour to be here. Um, it, it really is just, it's a joy to see you all gathered here. Uh, you know, can I just wholeheartedly welcome you to uh, Lismore? It's a beautiful place full of beautiful people and when you come here you make it better. So thank you for joining us here today. And I have to really apologise, I have to run off to something else. I'm trying not to be rude, but I appreciate the opportunity to speak. I appreciate um, this beautiful place of peace and tranquility. And I hope that all those who come here realise how special it is to be a part of um, Bodhi Tree. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor, for those uh, wonderful words of uh, inspiration for all of us uh, to also come and spend some time here at Bodhi Tree on retreat and mindful reflection. We now invite the uh, Lismore side or is that correct? Or <laughs> <laughs> to come and uh, share some reflections. Uh, so please uh, welcome him. Thank you. And, um, yes, I'll also say welcome and good morning. Um, why we're here, we can say it's through simply generosity, giving. Uh, this from Sikhu Saido, Dr. Nyanisara, who's donate, made a donation to Bodhi Tree for the now dedicated Swedigon Repro Pagoda. We acknowledge Saido's generosity and his dana. In Buddhist culture, we say dana is the basis of your practice. Not so much religion, but we're our practice. So practice of, of dana, which is generosity, which is not just giving things, but also giving yourself time and energy. Uh, so out of this giving, uh, Bodhi Tree has start, started to flourish. Um, we now... Um, so how did it happen? Um, first, the, the land itself was mostly donated by a Chinese monk, Reverend Wei Wu, in Penang, from Tanzian Temple. Um, so we were able to purchase this land. We don't see it as property. We see that we are the caretakers, the custodians. Uh, first. So that was our uh, initial. And then we went to had plans to build a retreat centre and of course you have to get your DA development application and the, the mayor, who was, before he was a mayor, councillor Isaac Smith, helped to assist us in that process. But majorly it was, the design work was done by Mark Halford, who gave uh, the last, what, 10 years, Mark, uh, I can't see him, he was around too early, um, did all the design work pro bono, that is, as a volunteer. Also, to get the, the permission for, for, the, for, the, for the building complex, um, Ian McIntosh, a town planner, who also gave his service. So this is how we've been operating since we've been here now 13 years. Um, we've, in that time, we have 
run retreats and uh, Vipassana retreats and mindfulness meditation workshops based on dana. Dana includes also the accommodation, the food, everything. Since we've been here, we've never charged anybody anything. So in no ways are we a commercial situation. Mm -hmm. So we are whole, the, we adhere to the Buddhist values of dana, and then to the ethical base, ethical training. Uh, I see that. But essentially, what we're here for, it, what we've come, I've come up here essentially to set up a Satipatthana Vipassana Retreat Center mm -hmm. to offer people long term, perhaps, if they wish. So that is the vision, if you like. So Dana, Sila, and Bhavana. Bhavana is what we call. Um, we are this, the, the meditators, we're with. Uh, it comes on the base of dana. Mm -hmm. Long we have many uh, volunteers. You would be appreciative of the fireys, the rural fire brigade, protecting us uh, you know, uh, as volunteers. So we as well have function as best we can with uh, volunteers. We have a few here at the moment. Um, Grant, Cullen, and even Chris, Christine here. We've done a lot of work, you know, um, with very few people and very little resources. Um, we're not we're not yet build up a Buddhist community or uh, or even a meditation community as yet, um, and that's what we hope will evolve in good time as we as we move along. Um, so we're very grateful and emotive to the side of to help us establish this uh, uh, centre. But the building now we're sitting under, it's actually based on a, a building in Sagai Hill. That, uh, it's not exactly the same, but it's what they call colonial um, style. But anyway, um, it was be mostly donated by a Australian layperson Paget Sires. So if you go up into the hall, you'll see a plaque acknowledging it. He gave most of the funding for this building, which cost about close to half a million, actually. So Paget Sires, uh, he set up the Buddhist library and gave a lot of uh, uh, donations and support to Cam in Cambodia for schools in Cambodia and facilities over there. He passed away. Uh, a year ago and unfortunately that makes us, if I may say so, which I have to because it's pressing on me, that we're now under financial stress because if I, if I needed any uh, money to cover the cost, Padgett would always come up with substantial money because we have a school building trust firm. So at the moment we're, we're in debt. The, the land has been paid for, but we're actually in debt to workmen who have been building and, uh, on this. So we really I need to appeal, actually, because after you've all gone, I'll be sitting here with my old age pension trying to pay off my substantial debt. And uh, I don't want to, you don't want to hear me, you know. So that is, is, that's a critical thing at the moment, what's happening here at Bobby Shrew. We are in debt to various work people for the material and the work that they've done. Uh, so we'd appreciate your support in that mission. So just to finish off, just to say that we, um, in Buddhist culture, we have this uh, practice uh, of making merit. You can also say merit, you could interpret it as well-being. Um, so if you wish, I'll say a short verse in English of sharing the merit. So we, we make merit, we make good fortune, well-being for ourselves. We don't keep it to ourselves, we, we share it. You know. So I'll just say this last verse, making, sharing the merit that's being made here at Bodhi Tree. I'll use the plural. <laughs> <laughs>
may the merit made by us now or at some other time be shared by all beings here. By rejoicing in this cause, this gift of merits made by us, may all beings live a happy life, be free from hate, and may they find the path secure, and their good wishes all succeed. Thank you. Thank you, Saidor Panyavaro, for those uh, words on the history of uh, Bodhi Tree Forest Monastery and also words of encouragement for uh, our practice of dana, generosity. Appreciating that uh, generosity not just supports the monastery but supports uh, ourselves in developing a, a heart that's caring and uh, um, helpful and uh, beautiful for ourselves and for others. And also providing a space here that we can come and share in so on occasions such as this. So thank you, uh, Saidor Panyavaro. We now invite um, Janelle Safin, uh, Member of Parliament, and just a uh, words, few words in Burmese from the other MC. Janelle Safin, Member of Parliament, and just a words, few words in Burmese from the other MC. Janelle Safin, Member of Parliament, and just a words, few words in Burmese from the other MC. Janelle Safin, Member of Parliament, and just a words, few words in Burmese from the other MC. Janelle Safin, Dilomio, Longaniu, Low Song Biro, Golden Goja, Uzi Biro, Pimman Camilo, Sharoi, Dipia, you, Dere, General Alawani, Sharoi, Alo, Sharoi, General Jesu Tin, General Wan Yao Jong, Gongu, Luar Kmia, Sharoi, congratulations. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge, as the Mayor did, that we're meeting on the Widgeable Wireball um, lands of the Bundjalung Nation of our local Indigenous people. And I'd like to acknowledge uh, the Venerable Sayadors and also Sayador Pena, um, whom I consider to be a friend, but one I haven't seen for some time. And because I'm the local member, I'm a politician, I'm very practical as well, I take on board what you said about the debt and I'll talk to you some more about that as well because we want to make sure that all our local um, tradespeople get paid but we want to make sure that the Bodhi Tree um, Monastery continues to do what it does because it's a, a key uh, centre in our local area and in my electorate of Lismore. Uh, <laughs> I'd also like to um, acknowledge His Excellency the Ambassador um, Uta Ong Nguyen, who's also a friend, and it's lovely that he's here with his team from the Myanmar Embassy in Canberra. And I have other friends here today whom I haven't seen for quite some time. When I sat down, he's not there now, but Umi and Thane was behind me and poked me in the back and said, I'm here and Kim Ma Chi, I can see you there as well. We haven't seen each other for a long time. And also Nyo Nyo and my, my godson Sydney is here. So I have many connections. Yeah, in the kitchen. I have many connections, um, as some of you might know, with the Burmese community, as I call it. And through that uh, connection, um, Theravada Buddhism, I come to know. And it's just for me to be here at the dedication ceremony of the Shwedagon Pagoda replica. It's lovely to be here for that. The Shwedagon Pagoda. Um, is something, I mean, I know it well from all of the years and time that I've spent in Burma, Myanmar. And, um, you know, we call it the Golden Pagoda or Shwayagon Zedi Dor. And it's some, you know, somewhere I visit. It gives a lot of solace to a lot of people right across Burma, all the peoples. And it dominates Rangoon or Yangon. 
um, I, and it's just lovely to see and to have it in Lismore, <laughs> a replica, is wonderful. It's exciting and I welcome it, as well as everything else that happens here at Bodhi Tree um, Monastery. And I just want to say a little bit about Shwedagon Pagoda. And, and given that I am a politician, I also acknowledge the great political events that have taken place throughout history of the Shwedagon Pagoda. There were many. It was occupied for a long time by the colonisers, by the British, um, over the three wars. And then in 1920, the university students gathered there and organised the strike. And that was about schools and access to education, which is very important in the tradition. And in 1936, there was a strike there. 1938, the oil field workers came there and striked. And then I'll jump forward in 1946, Bajok Ong San, one of the heroes of Burma, he gave a great speech there at that time. 42 years later, his daughter, Dorong San Su Chi, she gave a great speech there. She arrived there as Bajok Ong San's daughter and she left as a leader in her own right. So when we think about the Shui De Gong Pakoda, it has a wonderful history, a religious history, a spiritual history, but it also has that um, political history. And I just wanted to share how I see it and I, how I react and reflect about the Shwedagon Pagoda. But what I'd like to say is when the development that Panya talked about and the Mayor talked about was taking place, um, I talked to some local people about it, Eric, because I met with Panya at the time, and I talked with some local people about it who were objecting, and I explained that it would be a lovely development to have in our midst and I still feel that and I think that often people object and, um, and then once it's in place they see that some of their fears, some of their concerns, they dissipate because they can see how wonderful it is to have it here and that's how I feel and I'd just like to say um, it's nice for me to spend a few hours here, I won't be able to spend too much time because I still have to go out because we've got a lot of bushfires, as you know, and um, I've got a big electorate, it goes out to Tenterfield, Torrington, where we've had bushfires, and so I'll be out and about today with the rest of my community. To the visitors, can I say welcome to my electorate of Lismore, it's lovely to have you here, to my locals, I can see some here, <laughs> so it's great that you're part of this community, and um, thank you very much for having me here and allowing me to share some of my thoughts with you and uh, some of my reflections, particularly about the Shwedagon Pagoda. Thank you. Jésus te Thank you. Thank you, Janelle. Lovely to hear your connection to Bodhi Tree Forest Monastery and also to uh, Myanmar and the Shwedagong Pagoda. We now invite uh, the Burmese ambassador to come and share some reflections. Um, following uh, before that, we have the uh, MC in Burmese. Yakutvan General, Picture General, Yamaninga, Australia. Uh, to save the time, I will use only one language. <laughs> Actually, I am very, very nervous to stand before this mic 
due to the nature of work, I don't have any problem to stand before the mic, to sing or to deliver the statements or political or whatever the human. I don't have any problem with that. But for today, for me, it is in a very high level of nervousness because I have to talk in front of this high-ranking CROs, so I'm very, very nervous. <laughs> and another thing is, uh, I have never expected, I come to for the Dhamma, and I have never expected that I am asked by the Seattle to hold the crystal fili, which we call it diamond bird. So I brought along this paper when I deliver and thank so that I will make less mistake in front of my high rank high ranking CROs. <laughs> Dr. Abbot of the Body Tree Forestry, Forest Monastery, and Councillor Isaac already left. Okay, and Mayor of Lismo, and Miss Janel, Sovereign Member of New South Wales Parliament, and distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and all the Dhamma friends. Good morning to you all. Mingalanenekima. You well, some of you may have met you, some of you may not have met you, so I am the ambassador. I'm stationing in Canberra and this is for my third year. So uh, whenever you come to Cam Canberra, I please come and see us and I brought along my deputy head of mission, Minister Councillor Uang Chomo as well. As the ambassador of Republic of the Union of Myanmar, I am very pleased to be invited by the founding abbot of Bodhi Tree Forest Monastery to attend this religious event. It is also an honor to be here to attend this event with a replica is donated by Tidigu Siaroji Siaro Ashinyanitara. This is my very first time to visit Lismo that I am very delighted to meet, supposed to meet Mayor Isaac. I miss him and also MP Isabel. I'm accompanied by my officials, the Deputy Head of Mission and the staff. Before talking about the event it, itself, may I extend our deep worries concerning recent bushfires. We send our mitta to all the beings for the health, wealth, physical and mental comfort and total comprehensive convenience. We pray for the situation will come back to soon normalcy. May all the affected areas and the people be blessed. Ladies and gentlemen, the culture of Myanmar has been heavily influenced by Buddhism. Myanmar is a very religious country with around 90% of the population being Buddhist. Christianity, Islam and Hinduism are practiced in many parts of the world as the nature of freedom of religion and expression is free. Since we are all here for the opening ceremony of the dedication of the Sri Lung Pagoda replica, I would like to share some salient points about Sri Lung Pagoda and replicas in a very brief manner, not in the, in the political way from the Buddhist way. <laughs> Shwedagong Bhavura is located in Yangon, Myanmar. It has been said to exist since the 6th century, making it one of the oldest structures in the country's history. This 326 foot tall Bhavura is situated on Thingodera Hill and dominates the Yangon skyline. Shwedagon Pagoda preserves four Buddhist relics that belong to the previous incarnations of Buddha and in an important religious structure for the Theravada Buddhism and for the people of Myanmar. This, this the, the design of the pagoda, you can see after that, consists of terraces, bell, turban bands, inverted arm bowls, lotus petals, banana bud, umbrella crown, which is tipped with 5,448 diamonds 
and 2,317 rupees. And after that, it is a vein. The vein is the first one that Ucho Mu Nai has put it. That is the one. And after that, it is a diamond bud. But we call here is a crystal filier. Today, we have just witnessed the successful of installation of the crystal filier, which we call the diamond bud. Shwedegong Pagoda is also called Shwedegong Zedi. Here, I wish to explain about the Zedi because some of them who come who visited Myanmar, they do not know the real meaning of Zedi. And they were wondering why we are paying respect to the bricks building or the, the structure. They thought we are paying the respect to the, this brick stones or structures. So some visited just for the tourism purposes. Actually, Zedi, which derives from Pali, Setia, specifically refers to typically solid bell-shaped stupas that may house relics. Myanmar Zedis are classified into four types. Number one, is, it is called Dhamma Zedi. Dhamma Zedi we call also, and is enshrining relics of the Buddha. The second one is Pariboka Zedi, enshrining garments and other items such as arms, robes that belong to the Buddha or sacred personalities. The third one is Tamazini, Tamazini, enshrining sacred texts and manuscripts along with the jewels and precious metals. The last one is Uttita Zidi, and built for motives of piety, containing statues of Buddha, most of sacred images. We have Shirgo Pagoda replicas, Upapantani Pagoda in Nebidor, which was built around in 2009. It is 30 centimeters less in height than the real Shwedo Pagoda. Another one also in Lombardy National Park in North Sumatra, Indonesia. Another one also in Global Vipatana Pagoda, Mumbai, India. Now we have just one in front of you. <laughs> Distinguished guests, Tama friends, in conclusion, I would like to put on high record with Nieta, Siaroji, for the supreme donation, Siaro Pinyavaru, for his long lasting effort in advancing and enhancing the Buddhist Tama, Mayor, Mayor Smith and MP Safin for gracing this event, and everyone present here for their cheerful mindfulness towards. Buddha, Tam, Buddha Tama, and finally, which was here, and John, for their stewardess, uh, stewardess for running the show as the Master of Ceremony. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ambassador, for those kind words, and also for learning something of the history, the Dharma history of the Shwedagong Pagoda. We now invite the most venerable Sayadaw Sitaku to offer some uh, Dharma reflections. Jigurga Janaro Nene Sharoi Tilu Sharovia Ita Nu Morana Dea Pija Maya Please ask Banja Barakmia. Good morning, but almost good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Our ambassador is a very much an expert in history of the Trade of Goda. He already explained completely about the Shwedo. But he met only two things. Senator <laughs> <laughs> Gorama was born 623 years before the Jesus. He attained the enlightenment, became the Buddha at the age of 35. 588 BC. 
seven weeks after his enlightenment. Huh? You forgot it. <laughs> seven weeks after his enlightenment, the Buddha is sitting under the same tree in the Uruguila forest. Ever died too much from the young girl. In those days, it was called Oklapa. Too much. Cross the Bengal Bay and dive into the Indian. Right at the Bodega under the body tree. Baby, respect the Buddha. Don't eat the food. Seven weeks after his enlightenment, very early. Be rest with the Buddha taking three refuge under the five breezes, listen to the motto. They converted Buddha said as a Buddha said disciple. And then they requested the Buddha. We were coming from the Oklapa. Those days it was called Oklapa, now indeed it is called Yango. We came from the Yango. Now we are going back to our home. I would like to request the precious present from the Buddha. And then the Buddha gave a hair to those too much. Alias present given by the Buddha himself, a light hair, not dead hair. Buddha gave eight hair. They too much bring back, brought back these eight hair to the Okalapa, our father king, king of Okalapa, started to establish Okoda over 2,600 years ago. They enshrined Buddha's hair, eight Buddha's hair in this Okoda. Very difficult to explain in detail. 2,600 years the journey of the Visa Bhagura. Several times, many times, because of earthquake, damage, renovated, renovated. We cannot estimate from earliest time of Swedish Bhagura. We cannot estimate. Through the 2,600 years the journey, Several king of the Myanmar, several king of the Mon, they renovate. Now it is, we have this style. So you are very lucky. In the history of the stupa in the world, this is an earlier stupa in the world. I made the replica and bring it to the Australia to give precious present to you. I do not come to take anything from Australia. Just to give the present. Precious, priceless present. <clears throat> this is a design. Myanmar tradition, culture design. Myanmar own design. But I want to tell you one thing. After Buddha's enlightenment, Buddha lived as a Buddha for 45 years long. At the age of 80, Buddha passed into the Brainibana in northern part of India, Manaste, the southwest corner of Kushinagara city. Within 45 years, what the Buddha taught? This is very important. <clears throat> I want to tell you one thing. I do not want to organize any Australian people to combine the Buddhism, but I would like to organize to combine from evil to noble, from violence to peace. 
therefore we should study the Buddha's teaching with them for the very years. What the Buddha taught? Dhamma only. Huh? Dhamma is Dhamma. It is not religion. Religion and Dhamma is very different. Religion and the religion, then the three them mainly believe in something. Worship and prayer. This is the essence of religion. Buddha said Dhamma. And shortly I would like to tell you, we can divide this Dhamma into three tribisions. Shila, Samadhi and Panya. This is a Dhamma. What is Sila? Sila means a discipline not to do any evil, not to speak any evil. In detail, you shall study in body tree center. In detail. Now almost afternoon. I want to repeat again, Sila, Samari and Penya. Sila means a discipline not to do any evil. Killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, etc. Not to speak any evil. Fribola talk, vain talk, useless speak, tell a lie. These disciplines are followed by anyone without discrimination, caste, color. Anyone, everyone can practice and follow these disciplines. If we can follow these disciplines, sila, not to do any evil, not to speak any evil, anyone can become good person. Good. He is good person, she is good person. To be good person, we must have practice. This is sila. Just a mere belief, not enough. Just a mere worship, not enough. But practically practice, abstaining from all evil deeds, abstaining from all evil speech, very basic discipline, and second stage in Buddha's teacher, Samadhi. Samadhi means a mental discipline. Our mind look like a monkey, you know, jumping, running everywhere. Now we are sitting here under the sea Maybe you are thinking for lunch. <laughs> Myself also thinking about my lunch. <laughs> my lunch should not be on the 12th. You know? <laughs> thinking, thinking, thinking. Like a monkey. Jumping and running. I was an ambassador also sitting here. Maybe he is thinking about his embassy office. <laughs> How many letters are coming from the Myanmar? Number man, no? So we need to control our mind monkey. Not to think any evil. Not to think any evil. Pure thinking is very important to create the pure life. So, if we can control our mind to concentrate on a single object, abstaining from all evil thoughts, the thought of sensual pleasure, the thought of ill will, the thought of cruelty, three evil thoughts. Please uh, try to purify our mind, concentrate our mind, to remove all evil thought. At that time, we can become right person. Live up. Our life, lift up, rise up. 
en cela et puis gain prendre ces en cela god pas en primary state et mental say en body say samadhi controlling of our mind the highest state in Buddha's teaching, Panya. <laughs> Panya. We would like to say Panya means meditation. Meditation is very easy. Not really difficult. It is a technique, wonderful technique, to search for realities and truth within ourselves. Very short. I want to repeat again, meditation is a very wonderful technique to search for realistic nature and true nature within ourselves. As long as we cannot find out the truth and reality, we cannot solve any problem of the life. To solve the problems of the life, we must have such for realistic nature and true nature. And let me tell you one example. What is the inside of this cup? Water. <laughs> you don't have any wisdom. Because you see only the water. I see here shaking. Shaking. It is no water. Air. Liquidity and fluidity, it is water. But sometimes in this water, we'll feel the cold nature and hot nature also come. Huh? Included these two natures. Hot and colds are not water. It is fire element. Sometimes fire is very increased and then they're very hot. Sometimes the fire very decreased, very cold. Cool and hot, the same element. Fire element, shaking and moving, air element, liquidity and fluidity, water element. We put the, this uh, cup of the water into the deep freezer. Two, three hours later, pull out and lock. Totally change it like a stone. It has hardness in nature and softness in nature. It is called art element. We pass it up. Embody tree, meditation center, you must have search for. This is a true nature. According to the scientists, they will determine it is not real water, hydrogen and oxygen. Double hydrogen and oxygen, they are compounded. If we can divide this water into two elements, hydrogen and oxygen, water disappear. What is the true nature? So ladies and gentlemen, my dear brothers and sisters, Buddha said, within 45 years, only Dhamma. We can divide this Dhamma into three divisions, Sila, Samadhi, and Banya. Sila means a discipline to control the bodily action and verbal action, not to do any evil, not to speak any evil. Second stage in Buddha's teaching, Samadhi, to control mental activity, not to think any evil. Higher state in Buddha's teaching, Banya. Ba and Nya. Ba means in DT. Nya means understand. We must try to understand ourselves in DT. So, if we can practice Sila, we can become good person. If we can practice as Samadhi, we will become right person. If we can practice as Banya, Wisda, we Pasana, will become noble man. So, Dhamma is a technique how to lift 
standard of the mankind. Sila depend on body and baba. Samadhi depend on mind. Penya, wisdom, penetration into whole body. So Dhamma, human <coughs> or homocentric teacher, human center teacher, sila depend on sit, belief, prayer, everything depend on God. Therefore, Buddhism and religions are very different. Buddhism is a homocentric teaching or human centered teaching. Religion is a theocentric teaching. This is the difference between religion and Buddhism. Ladies and gentlemen, Buddha taught this and Dhamma for 45 years alone. At the age of 80, he passed away. His body was a cremated at the southwest corner of a Pushinaga. After cremation, all of the bomb relics, bomb relics from the Buddha's dead body remain about 100 kilograms. These relics are divided into eight countries, eight king from eight country came to the Buddha's funeral ceremony. They divided a portion, bring it to their country. We established stupa, respected country in it. They enshrined all the Buddha's relics. In the very beginning history of the stupa, only the eight, in a country in India. But, 218 years after the demise of the Buddha, King Embara Ashoka appeared in India. He went to worship him to pay respect to the Buddha's relics. So he marched throughout the India such and for the Buddha's relics. He found out, remain on all of a stupa. He dig and carry out all of Buddha's relics to his country, Padaliputra, now a deep partner. I was ambassador for it. <laughs> so I feel like this is history. King Embara Ashoka, wonderful king. He has no any selfishness spirit, selflessness king. Therefore, he established 84,000 stupa throughout the India. 84,000 stupa throughout the India. In every stupa, he enshrined all of our Buddha's relics in India. If you want to see one of our stupa still exists as an origin in Maharashtra state, in Sanchi, one that was originally established by the King Emperor Ashoka, 230 BC. Our stupa, Swedago replica, first and foremost, very earlier than the Ashoka stupa. Ashoka stupa is very late after the Buddha, over 200 years later. Our Swedago stupa is very early, seven weeks Buddha after enlightenment. We got from the Buddha a live hair, a hair. Enshrine in it in Yango. Now I made a replica to establish, establish it here for you. This is a symbolism of Buddha always standing in Australia. May all of you be peaceful and happy. Thank you. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.
Saru. Follow me. Idame Ponya. Idame Ponya. Bari Nyanata. Bari Nyanata. Pisio. Pisio. Hodu. Hodu. Shembia. Shembia. Yabi Dodohi. Yabi Dodohi. Ikamudi. Ikamudi. Bari Nyahi. Bari Nyahi. The Talaba. Kibasi the D. Kibasi the D. Ikambo. Ikambo. Udo Pogo. Nonsedabo, Jenny Gonda, Nalubia, 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 This is my meritorious deed. Take share, all of my dear brothers and sisters, with me together, with us equally together. If you happily take this meritorious deed, take share with me together. May all of you be peaceful and happy. May all of you be liberated from sorrow and suffering. This is a Myanmar tradition, a Myanmar, a Myanmar, a Myanmar. Meaning, sharing, sharing, sharing. Taking the share, taking the share, this is my duty. By the power of our taking the share, this is my duty. All of our being be happy and peaceful, be liberated from sorrow and suffering. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, most venerable Sayadaw, for those Dharma teachings, the Dharma Desana, the words of encouragement, inspiration, and also the Anamodana blessing for us all. And certainly thank you for sharing your time, your precious time with us here today, and uh, being a blessing and inspiration for all of us in practicing Dharma, especially here at Bodhi Tree Forest Monastery. We now have uh, some special presentations to uh, those that have been helpful and supportive, some certificates of appreciation uh, to follow. ဒါကြောင့်ရင်းလေးရှိရတော့များကိုပြောပြီးဆုံးကပ်ဖို့စီစဉ်ရှိပါတယ်။ဒါပေမဲ့အာကျွန်တော်တို့ဒီဒီ <laughs> ကောက်ခံရရှိတဲ့အထူးတော်ငွေများကိုဥခေါ်မြောင်းရတယ်ဒီညာခိုင်းတဲ့အတွက်ကျွန်တော်နေရင်ရောကြလိုပါတယ်
ဒေါ်တင်တင်ချို့ရောင်တယ်လို့ဒီသာစုကတော့ဩစတေးလျန်တော်လာငါးစေဥမမောင်တော်ဘုံမခင်ဒီသာစုတော်လာတုံးရာ
ตัวนี้ลูกลูกสองตัวเนี่ยด้วยกูจะได้ไปกี่ปีกูไปกูเข้มงวดอย่างนี้ไปกูไปเนี่ยเอ็งตัวนี้เอ็งตัวนี้เ